Now the car that's gonna make the video is none other than the Turo Grand Sport, a $20 million car in this game. Yo, <laughs> that is pretty cool. I like that. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an absolutely awesome day. Today we're taking a look at the Vehicle Legends update. Yes, we finally got another update in Vehicle Legends and as we can see here, weekly updates are coming back. Expect a new update every week. This is pretty big news because it's been a while since we've seen weekly updates and overall it's been a while since we've seen a lot of new stuff in Vehicle Legends. So this is exciting, we've got 9,000 people playing right now on a Monday and I wanted to show you guys their Twitter page because there's actually some cool information there that you might not see because I don't really see any like update information here. If you want update info, you actually gotta get it in game or in these thumbnails sometimes. So let me show you guys what you might have missed. Right over here we have an update here, it's a little like uh, uh, preview of basically the new garage interface here. So it's like an active animation. Let me make sure the sound is off and check this out guys. Look at this awesome new car model and it rolls on out. I'm excited to see how that works. And we have here update is out, new penthouse garage, two cars, spoilers for most cars and more. So let's jump on in and let's see what's going on in Vehicle Legends. Welcome back guys to Vehicle Legends. Here we are in game and let's take a look at what we have. We have the new Poid Rapid, we have the Kavala Z90 Remastered, new penthouse customization garage, find it downtown in the city. For vehicles that do not have a wing spoiler, they do now have a spoiler. Desert race has been completely redone, so we're gonna check that out today as well. Leg reduction, people have been saying that the game is actually a lot smoother now, so try it out for yourself, and let me know if the game is a little smoother, but let's get into this. It does feel pretty snappy, and uh, yeah, also guys, I'm still debating if I should make this the official merch. Let's see in this video if we should make it the official merch, guys. Let me know. I actually kind of like it. It's growing on me a lot. All right, that being said, let's take a look. So we've got two new cars here. Apparently, I already own this car, um, which I I'm not sure how I can own a brand new car that I'd never purchased, but maybe it's just redone. But as you guys can see, the Kavala Z90, I guess, is based on a Ferrari. I know Kavala uh, in this game is like the Ferraris. Let me know which one this is based on, but look at this interior. We've got a gated six-speed manual we have this like center center style driving position which is like super different I can't wait to see what the tachometer looks like it looks like it might actually move and of course we have the Bugatti Lavatoire Noir uh, and then in this game it's the Poid Rapid but this thing is only three and a half million which typically these cars cost a lot more in game and uh, let's see the inside here so obviously fully created interior all the way done up. This thing looks super cool. I like how we kind of kept the same style rims as the original, but he went for a totally different body style. Look at these exhaust tips. Six individual exhaust tips. What the heck? Now the car that's gonna make the video is none other than the Turo Grand Sport. A $20 million car in this game. Not cheap <laughs> whatsoever. You can test drive it, which is actually kind of a nice feature. I will say I like that a lot. This thing is an absolute beast. Look at this. What the heck is this? It's like some alien spaceship. Um, I love the design. I think it's super unique, very distinctive, and obviously it's $20 million, so this is the one we're gonna buy today. I'm excited about it. Hopefully you guys are too. If you guys want more Vehicle Legends, leave a big thumbs up. I've been getting tons of comments to play this game. Let's get this car. Here we go, man. Turo Grand Sport, $20 million spent. Hypothetically, if you wanted this car with Robux, you would have to spend almost 20,000 Robux in cash to get this car. Here we go, dude. We are inside the Turo Grand Sport. Do we have enough sound? Hold on here. Now, other people are trying to sit inside the car, but unfortunately, this only seats for one. I will say my character doesn't look very comfortable in this car. I look like I'm like hunched forward, like not very comfortable. But uh, you know what? That's fine when you're riding around in something like this. So we don't have a working display, but we do have some really good sounding uh, exhaust notes here. Let's go. Here we go. I kind of like that. We also got coins around the map, which uh, give us 500 credits per coin. I like the way this thing sounds, though. 
It's got a very distinct noise. It definitely sounds like a V10 or V12, but uh, let's go to the new customization area, which this is the old one, but apparently somewhere downtown is a new customization shop. So let's go see if we can find that real quick. You know, I have to confess, it's been a very long time since I've played Vehicle Legends, and truly I do miss this game. I love the map. I think the map is one of my favorite parts about it, but the cars are all completely unique now, and... It's just good to see such a big game start to get big updates again. I'm definitely in full support of that, but... Alright, oh, here we go. Penthouse Garage. Yes, let's go, dude. And you actually have to, like, drive in here. Yo, <laughs> that is pretty cool. I like that. That is pretty cool indeed. Um, Wow, a fully remade shop here. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So performance is gonna come up first. Uh, we could do metal, I'm not sure if we want that. Let's focus on performance first, and I'm gonna customize it the way I want afterwards, but let's see what we got here. So it comes equipped with no turbos, so we should definitely go with the supercharger, then if that's gonna be best. It comes all wheel drive, let's get that best engine upgrade. This is gonna be the most crazy car in the game. Besides the boost truck, this is gonna be the most craziest car, because 20 million dollars is not cheap. All right, let's get some good racing tires as well, just to make sure this thing can handle the new desert race. Uh, and I'm gonna do some appearance stuff very quickly, and then we're gonna get this car on the road, and let's see how it does. You know what? I always forget how good the wraps are in this game. I think we're gonna go with a wrap instead here. Let's see what we can do. Maybe this blue one looks pretty cool. We've also got kind of a brown one and uh, a black one. Oh, maybe we do the black one. Okay, let's go with that. Let's get the rims to be, uh, I guess maybe black as well, just to kind of match the theme or white. No, I think we'll go black. This thing is looking pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Yo, look at this guy in the old Challenger. I remember when I did a video on this car, it was super cool, but okay. So, we now have the 20 million dollar car. I'm not even sure what to call this thing, but um, it is fast. I can tell you just by barely tapping my uh, W key how fast this thing is. Okay, here we go. All right, let's try to launch this thing and see what happens. Okay, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we're going 150. 200 all right what is this thing's top speed i have to know i have to know what this thing can do okay we're going into the water now oh god so i think the most important thing about this car is definitely going to be its speed i mean the looks kind of speak for themselves this thing looks amazing i've got a couple of other people that have quite decent stats and they're going to race against us but yeah buying this car pretty much wasted all my money so uh leave a like on the video guys because your boy is basically broke at this point Oh, here we go. Oh, he's got the Bugatti Lavatoir Noir. Okay, let's see if we can race on the highway. And uh, this should be a good race because these are both expensive cars. Obviously, mine is a little bit more expensive. But yeah, he's got the new Bugatti. I'm ready to do this thing, man. I can't wait to see how this goes. A race all about speed and endurance. I'm just excited to see what kind of top speeds we can hit with this thing. It's got to be the fastest in the game other than the boost truck. So let's see what it can do. Okay, okay. I haven't done this race in a long time as well, so let's be careful. Okay, 300. Okay, yo, one thing I like about this game is even when you hit bumps, it doesn't totally destroy your car, so I appreciate that. But 400 miles an hour. We did this race in 23 seconds compared to 27 seconds, and third place hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, this thing is so fast. What the heck? I want to review this desert race for you guys because this is a newly revamped area, so let's see how this looks now. First of all, I really like the checkpoints in this game. We've talked about it before, but they are super, super cool. Whoa, okay. Wow, we actually kind of stuck that turn. Not bad, not bad. Okay, okay. I'm starting to understand this game again. I've been playing this game for a while, but I always play other games, and it sort of messes up my memory of how the games work. But yeah, look at that. I love the drifting in this game. Very simple to do, very easy, and uh, pretty satisfying as well. Look at that. <laughs> nice. And that's it, 32 seconds to do the desert race. I think that was pretty good, actually. All right, let's see how we do in the drag race. These challengers are not slow. If they're good at anything, it'll be the drag race. So here we go, let's see what happens. Okay, man, I don't know how this is gonna go. Two other challengers, if we lose, that's not gonna be very good. Yo, what the frick, why is this thing so fast? Holy, 6.25, not bad, not bad at all, what the frick? Okay, let's try the circuit race. This one takes a little bit more skill, so our speed isn't gonna be the only factor in this one. Wow. Okay, this car not only looks cool, but is insanely fast as well. 
All right, it looks like they're bringing out their best cars now, so let's see how we can do against them. We're versing somebody in a McLaren F1, so this should be pretty interesting as well. Again, this race, a lot of it is skill. Oh, he didn't make it in. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go. I'm ready for this race. I haven't done the circuit race in a while, but I mean, come on, look at this car. Look at this car. It is just nuts. If you have enough money to buy this thing, or even if you have to sell a bunch of cars, this thing is just gonna win every race. Like, I'm not even great at Vehicle Legends, and it just completely carries me through this race. You don't even have to be good at this game if you have this car. It is that good that literally just owning it will basically guarantee you first place. Like, it is so unreal. I mean, it even handles well. It's not even just a straight line car. Like, this thing is good at carving corners, turning, and everything. It does everything extremely well. But what do you expect when you spend $20 million? I mean, this is kind of what you get, right? Even using boost around corners, it's like totally okay. It's crazy to me when they add cars like this to the game. I love when they do it. And there we go. First place, 74 seconds. Let's see how long it takes the rest of the guys. Bro, that was quick. <laughs> that was pretty quick. Um, this car is just unreal. Definitely one of the coolest cars we've gotten to review so far in 2022, guys. Let me know what you think about it down below. Um, I, I definitely like it. I'd love to do more videos with the expensive cars. Maybe we should do a race. This car versus the boost truck. Which one is faster? Let's see. Let's do it right now. So unfortunately, nobody has the boost truck, but if you guys want to see a video where we race this against the boost truck, leave a like right now. I would love to see which is faster in all sorts of different races, but I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys want more, let me know, but thanks so much, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. This car is so sick. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.